So the other day I came across this thread-waisted wasp that was carrying a caterpillar. So these thread-waisted wasps will hunt caterpillars, paralyze them, and then bring them back to their burrow on an underground nest. So I followed her for probably about 20 or 30 meters through some, some little um, vegetation on the side of this dirt road. And finally, she stashed the caterpillar up in some, some of these little plants um, to go finish constructing her nest. So her nest, she digs, digs in the ground, but she kept going in and getting these armfuls of soil. Uh, you can kind of see when she comes out of the nest, she has an armful of soil. She brought the caterpillar closer, then kept digging the nest. Every once in a while, she would go over to this sunny spot and just kind of bask in the sun for a little bit. Then she'd come back and again start digging in the nest. Sorry about the video quality here, this is just with my phone. And so when I tried to zoom in, the quality wasn't as good. So she comes back and inspects the caterpillar periodically, goes back to digging the nest. What's kind of cool is she would get an armful of dirt in the nest then fly only about a foot away and just kind of chuck it uh, out, out away from the nest. So what's interesting about these wasps is they have some, some behavioral cues that are kind of particular. So after she digs the nest, she's gonna drag the caterpillar into the nest and lay an egg on it. And then her larva will hatch and eat that caterpillar while it's paralyzed. But in order for her to drag the caterpillar into the nest, she wants it to be facing a certain orientation. So she's still digging here, but eventually you'll see she will turn the caterpillar around so the head of the caterpillar is facing the nest. And then she will want to drag it backwards down into the nest. I read this book called Wasp Farm in graduate school, and it talks about all these different behaviors of these wasps and they talk about a fixed action pattern. So a fixed action pattern is a series of actions that are triggered by a certain cue. And wasps have some of these actions. They don't like think logically through all these processes. This, this hunting and digging and nest preparation behaviors are kind of programmed into them. So her fixed action pattern is she wants the caterpillar's head facing the, uh, the nest, and then she comes out of the nest and wants to back down the nest with that caterpillar's head. So she comes out, sees the caterpillar's head is no longer facing the nest because I turned it around. So she turns it around again, goes back into the nest and starts that fixed action pattern again. So if I keep turning the caterpillar, it keeps messing up that cue and the fixed action pattern continues to kind of uh, restart in her in her brain. Eventually I did this a couple times and she decided to just bring the caterpillar away for a little while and continue in the nest building activities. So she keeps building the nest for a little while and we can watch her taking these armfuls of soil and, and throwing them off uh, away from the nest. Again, she's only going about a foot away. So she's down in the nest right now, comes out, throws the soil right there, and then comes back to the nest, eventually. So here she is again, throws the soil. You can see the caterpillar to the left there of the nest entrance. And so she does this for quite a while until she gets it to the depth that she wants. When she's ready, she starts that fixed action pattern again, puts the caterpillar's head by the nest, she goes into the nest, right here she kind of plugged it up so she's gonna to have to move the caterpillar. But I will turn this caterpillar again and again and again. Uh, I read in one uh, instance, a researcher did this something like 80 times and the wasp kept going through this fixed action pattern. I only tried it about five or six times and then something about the position where I had the caterpillar eventually, she thought it was good enough, maybe whatever that cue was in her mind. Uh, made it so she dragged the caterpillar in butt first and then continued to bury it. So I filmed throughout this process. You'll watch me um, turn the caterpillar around multiple times here, re-triggering re that fixed action pattern. But eventually she drags it down. And then what's cool is she covers in the nest with dirt, packs it down with her head, and then she will actually take some of these loose plant materials and kind of camouflage the nest. So at the end of this video, I speed it up a little bit and you can see how she camouflages that nest and you would never be able to find it after she's done with it. So let's just sit back and watch.
So the way I position the pat caterpillar here, potentially the, the rear end of that caterpillar might look enough like its head that the fixed action pattern is, is, is playing through in her mind. So she is now going to drag it down into the nest. It gets stuck a little bit here, but she eventually pulls it through. And then she'll just start packing soil around it after she lays an egg. So I'll speed up the video here so you can watch her pack down the nest and then camouflage over the top. So when she's down in the nest, she's actually using the front of her head and then she'll vibrate her wing muscles to really compact that soil around her paralyzed caterpillar with the egg on it. So she's packing it down. Some species of wasps related to this have been known to actually use rocks to kind of hammer down that soil, almost like a little tool. So we think of tool use as only a primate thing, but in fact there are some wasps, like thread-waisted wasps, that will use tools in their nest construction. So now that she's gotten the nest mostly filled in with soil, she starts putting some sticks and other little pebbles on top of it. Then she starts traveling around within about a one foot radius around this nest and grabbing little bits of bark and little seeds and just trying to make this look as natural as possible. And when I say she's trying to, I, again, she's not thinking logically through this. This is all kind of pre-programmed in her brain to do this, but she does a really good job of moving sticks around. So eventually you can't even tell where the nest is. <laughs> 